Welcome to the video series about diabetes and improving resident outcomes in long-term care, presented by Superior Health Quality Alliance. This video was developed for healthcare workers with an interest in providing care to individuals with diabetes residing in long-term care. This video will address strategies about the importance of an interdisciplinary team in diabetes care. You may watch each video in order or based upon your interest. The objective for this learning session is to achieve the following. Recognize the importance of an interdisciplinary team in diabetes care. Our goal is that after the video, you will have a better understanding of this topic and how it applies to your own healthcare setting. The interdisciplinary team members all bring a unique perspective to the team. But I want to ask you, is your team all it can be? Is it a strong team? Do you feel like there's good collaboration and communication? Is each member's views and input respected? If not, how can you make it better? A physician dealing with all of these complexities cannot do it alone. Every person at the table has a unique set of skills and knowledge to contribute to the care of a patient. Make sure that leadership is demonstrating the importance of this by providing budget resources, establishing expectations, and developing an institutional respect for handoffs. It's crucial to require buy-in from all disciplines. If not already established, convene an interdisciplinary team in the development and improvement of diabetes care for residents. Areas of care include physician oversight, including orders for routine labs, such as an A1C, kidney function tests, or lipid levels, referral for specialty care, such as to a podiatrist, an ophthalmologist, or endocrinologist. You may also consider creating a charter that lays out the roles, responsibilities, and accountabilities of the IDT, including those of senior leadership. How do we want to leverage this team to get all we can? Again, stating the obvious, no one person has the full knowledge of what can help this patient due to the different complexities involved. Leveraging the team means establishing and involving them in developing, implementing, and maintaining effective focused diabetes care. Have you established a good program for how you're going to treat patients with diabetes? You should use this team to define each person's role and expectations. This includes designating someone to oversee and lead the team, ensuring that everyone who should be represented is involved in both transitions in care and transitions in work, meaning handoffs both internally and externally. We want to utilize the team in developing a structured, tailored, and multifaceted approach. You need every voice at the table to see all sides of the disease and to overcome barriers to enhance the use of appropriate protocols in the care of your residents. The team should engage staff and guide diabetes care, including leadership, physicians, nursing, and frontline staff. Have champions on the floor who can have ears to the ground on what's happening and what can be improved. There are multiple other ways you can leverage the team but these are the key points we want to share. Communication is key. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do or improve. There has to be good, clear communication and coordination of care within the facility. When all stakeholders are pres present at an IDT meeting, other issues can come up. It's just like your safety huddles. If you share your knowledge, it may be beneficial to someone else. The same is true in these team meetings. This assists in preventing negative outcomes and ongoing treatment issues. It's a collaborative approach for best practice outcomes. 
because we don't want to treat this patient in a silo. We are a team and it takes a village. Some of these benefits include blood pressure management, lipid level reductions, and improving quality of life. The social worker sees more of the mental health aspect and activities can help remove some of the depression by involving patients in the activities they enjoy. MDs, NPs, PAs, nurses, podiatrists, and endocrinologists all have been shown to reduce the risk of lower extremity amputation by as much as 34 to 47%. That is a huge reduction. Another benefit is significantly reducing the risk of end-stage renal disease in patients with type 2 neuropathy and significantly reducing the risk of mortality compared with non-integrated care. Working collaboratively fosters supportive relationships, builds strong and committed organizational teams and leadership, and produces clear and open communication. There's trust and relationships where you're more open to sharing your goals and approaches to treatment. The importance of the team is to discuss the patient from head to toe looking at the whole body, the whole person, not just one disease. Key takeaways and resources. In summary, here are some key takeaways from today's presentation. Leverage the whole team in diabetes care. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Be sure there is clear and open communication that can foster collaboration and build a strong team. We have created a, le a list of diabetes tools and resources that may be helpful to you to further explore what we have been talking about in this video series. Care transitions can be used for any individual, not just individuals with diabetes. We would challenge you to ask questions about diabetes care management in your healthcare setting. Where are the gaps? Where are you seeing gaps in your processes? Are your residents experiencing hyper or hypoglycemic events? And what steps are you taking to prevent them? All of these questions can lead you to the development of a root cause analysis, action planning, and initiating a plan, do, study, act cycle. We challenge you to analyze your data and determine where there are opportunities for improvement. Here are additional evidence-based journal articles that have information and resources included in them. If you have questions about this video series or others, please contact us at info at superiorhealthqa.org. Thank you.